Let's talk about your debut single, Already Rockin' It, from Storyteller, yeah. Smoke Break. You co-wrote it. Mm-hmm. Tell everybody a little bit, of who, I mean, everybody knows what it's about, <clears> but <throat> how it came about. We were writing a song already, and um, sometimes songs just take a little longer, and you just get distracted, you have to talk through stuff, and we kind of just kept going outside because it was gorgeous outside. It was like the first nice day of the year last year, and um, it was hard to just be sitting indoors and like looking out the window, like, look what's out there. <laughs> it's pretty, fun. there's sunshine. So we, uh, finally just ended up taking the guitar outside and we were just sitting around and just taking, taking a break from writing the other song we were writing. And I was like, you know what? You have a good country title, Smoke Break. And, um, so we were like, well, what is that? Like, what is that about? We certainly don't want to encourage any bad habits, but we definitely, um, kind of understand the moment of getting to take a breath, you know, mm-hmm. getting to relax, getting to sit down, getting to think, mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah. And uh, that's kind of the angle that we wanted to tackle it from. So we we made it just about people. Yeah. I love it. Just a couple of weeks ago, you were in the city for the Country Music Hall of Fame fundraiser, All for the mm-hmm. Hall, with Brad and Vince yeah. and Emmy Lou and Paul. Paul, Paul Simon. Simon. I feel like I need to whisper his name. You do whisper. A lot Paul of people Simon. in this room watching this interview were there. Yeah. And it was magical. It was really cool. Um, I hadn't been that nervous in a long time, to be honest, just being on that stage. And, and it was just so weird because it was like a charity event. Like the guitar pool things are kind of the the most relaxed vibes. But I don't know. It was like just the, the people that were on that stage were just... Mm. I got a insane. little when Paul Simon started playing Sounds of yeah. Silence. I was like, oh, this is. And he didn't even have to say anything. The rest of us are like jibber jabbering <laughs> around, like trying to set stuff up and like, hi, I'm Carrie Underwood and this is what I do and here's a song. And no, but um, your he just voice, started playing it. I will say, like, you really killed it. I don't, I just to, for you just to play with the guitar in the background was pretty amazing. I think you Thank really stood. You. I'm not just saying that. You stood out that night. Thank you. My bright orange dress might have helped. It was awesome. <laughs> you and Brad. Brad was there. You have such great chemistry. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and here you go again. Afterwards, I was told when I laughed at him for forgetting <laughs> the words. They're like, that's such a little sister moment. I was like, I know I could not laugh at him. And I basically like pointed and laughed at him. You did. And yeah. then I had to sing next. And I was just like, oh, wouldn't that be like karmic justice if I screwed up my words right now? I didn't. <laughs> but... I would have deserved it. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> you would have. You and Brad are hosting the CMAs again. I yeah. mean, that's really become, you guys are the dynamic duo. You get each, you, you have the same <clears throat> sense, you both have the dry sense we of humor, too. You He's get each other. He's a little, little drier than I am, I think, mm-hmm. or I don't know. We, we have the same type of humor. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, we, we're good with timing and working things out. Sometimes it takes a while to get there. Just as far as, you know, meetings and stuff like that. But he has said that you guys will tastefully cover the whole summer of divorce in Nashville. I mean, it's what it's what every good country song is made of, really, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, it was just one of those. It was just a kind of a crazy time in, in country music. I mean, I was just like, good gracious, what, what's, what's the deal? People get divorced all the time, but it just seemed like a lot of big ones all of a sudden. Yeah, I think it was shocking to everybody. But is there anything that did you guys think? It, I think country, unlike other genres, like there's such an accountability and a family in country. Well, we are friends. Yeah. Like it's not, it's not. You I don't know. Hurt. Yeah, we we see these people. We tour together. We we there's like a whole lot of country music award shows, <laughs> so we constantly see each other. Yeah. Um, so it's it's you don't want to make anybody mad at you. Yeah. You know it's. Of course, we have to acknowledge certain things, but we definitely, we have to see these people later. And we're not mean people, mm-hmm. you know. I have faith you'll pull it off. We will. How many costume I, changes? I have more right now than I need, like as far as more dresses. How does that work? Is it kind of like Batman? Like Sometimes, yeah. There's like a team of people. Yeah. Then you just stand there. Yeah. Well, no. I have my, <laughs> I have my part to play in the dance as well. <laughs> Yeah, but it's it's all good. We make it. We we go through the um the running order of the show and then it's like, "Ooh, I have 8 minutes there." Like, mm, we can do a whole like wardrobe hair makeup change right there. Oh, yeah. there's 4 minutes there. We got this. Nice, <laughs> yeah. Nice. You probably have more time than you thought you would as you or you think you do. Yeah, it's you can do a lot in like 3 or 4 minutes. Yeah. 
Congratulations on all your AMAs and CMA nominations. Oh, you're going to perform you. at the AMAs. Yes. Just okay. I was that. like, yeah. I don't know if they've announced <laughs> yes. that. Yes, they have. I read that yesterday. Yes, I, think I it, am. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Talking to Carrie Underwood. It's a Nash New York studio takeover. We're playing album cuts today. I, would, I wouldn't be true to myself if we didn't feature the duet with my imaginary boyfriend, mm, Sam Hunt. Yeah. So good call on that. Tell Thank us about Heartbeat. You. Well, um... I mean, Heartbeat, when, when we wrote it, you know, definitely wasn't wasn't written as a duet or anything, but um, there were prominent kind of background vocals on it. And um, I was working with Zach Crowell, who also was a co-writer on the song, and he works with Sam Hunt a lot. And uh, it was just kind of like, I wanted to say, like, well, maybe his voice would sound really nice on there. And he kind of wanted to say the same thing, but neither one of us wanted to be like, I don't know. Neither one of us wanted to throw it out there. And finally he did. And I was like, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> so um, he asked him if he'd just kind of come in and lay down some some BGVs. Nice. And uh, he did. So I was and your really, voices really sound excited. great together. They do. Yeah. They do. Which you never know until you actually get, get in there. But I figured they would. What do you love about songwriting? Um, you know, it's just a whole other creative outlet, you know. Um it's fun to to be a part of a song from its its conception till it's out into the world. It's it's really cool. And uh, most most of the time, I just write with people that I just like, mm-hmm. and we just have fun together. So even if you aren't that positive about the song that you got for the day, mm-hmm. <laughs> you're like, no, that was all right. You know, you had a fun day because of the people that that I get to write with. So. Yeah. You know, it strikes me, I mean, I haven't talked to you in quite a while, but I feel like you're in such a good, peaceful, like, know who you are, what you stand for kind of place. I am. I mean, I feel like I've, it's, it's, there's a lot of milestones that have happened kind of this year. You know, this is my, my fifth album. Um, I've been doing this for 10 years. You know, it's my, me and my husband's five year anniversary this year. Um, I had a baby. Like, there's just kind of one of those, it's just one of those years where things are just, lining up right you know so I feel I feel really good I, I read a I did read an article I think in the Washington Post where you're like I'm cool with being boring I'm cool with staying under the radar <laughs> um I'm I'm happy with just doing what I love like I, I don't feel the need to make it over complicated or I don't know it's just I want to do what I do and hope that people like it and it's just, it's all good I do follow you on Instagram. I'm sure you noticed. (laughs) How many of you have millions of followers? You're like, oh, God, thank God Kelly followed me. (laughs) But I did see a dub smash. Yeah. (laughs) So I'm going to put you on the spot. Okay. And we're going to do a dub smash. Okay. After we get off the air here. Okay. And then people can go find it. I I picked the song. Okay. Okay. I'm down. It's me and you. The duet. The blonde do duet. I like it. All right. Last song we're going to feature. We'll, we'll feature some more, but the, that you get to pick while you're still here. Yeah. I'm going to let it. It's, it's, it's artist choice. Uh, and this is mine. I pick one of my mm-hmm. songs that I want people Preferably to hear. Preferably from the new album. Yeah. I, I, I would prefer that as well. <laughs> um, let's do... This one's kind of fun and funky and different. Um, it's called Choctaw County Affair. And uh, it's just... I don't know. It's just something really cool. Twangy. And swampy about it. Ooh, it's kind of dirty. I like it. <laughs> wow, I am all in three. Not words. the story. <laughs> Swangy, well, the story. swampy, and dirty. Yeah, three of my favorite cool. words. <laughs> Loved having you in today. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's so cool you were able to come by and and do a Nash New York studio takeover. Yeah. Let's go. F- I'm gonna go find you the best cupcake, best pizza next time you come in. You okay. stay longer, right? Okay. Yes, I would like that. Carrie Underwood. Thank you for coming Woo! in today. Woo!